Technically, your body is immune to every conceivable disease. Watch to the end of the video to find out how. Our immune system is a complex network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to protect our bodies from disease-causing pathogens. The innate immune system is the body's first line of defense against disease enemies. It's extremely fast-acting and consists of physical barriers, such as the skin and tissues, and chemical barriers, such as enzymes and stomach acid. These barriers have one objective, to prevent pathogens from entering our bodies. If germs get through these defenses, your innate immune cells join the fight. These cells help to identify and destroy pathogens. Macrophages are large white blood cells that consume pathogens. Macrophages also remove dead cells and stimulate the action of other immune cells. Natural killer cells are a type of white blood cell that help to identify and destroy cells that are infected or abnormal, such as cancer cells. Neutrophils are the most abundant type of white blood cell in the body. They help to engulf and destroy pathogens, as well as secrete toxic substances that limit the spread of infection. Dendritic cells are immune cells that help to present antigens to T-cells, activating the adaptive immune response. They play a key role in linking the innate and adaptive immune system, which we will examine shortly. The innate immune response is also an inflammatory response, which means that it causes swelling and redness in the affected area. This helps to isolate the pathogen and prevent it from spreading. Blood vessels in the infected area widen, releasing blood, and causing the swelling we're all familiar with when we have an infected wound. Within the blood are complement proteins. They are part of the complement system which promotes inflammation and helps your immune cells fight disease. While the innate immune system provides a fast and effective defense against pathogens, it has some downsides. It is a generic response that does not adapt to specific pathogens, which means that it can be overwhelmed if the pathogen is too strong. This is where the adaptive immune system comes in. The adaptive immune system is a slower response to infections but is more specific, producing a tailored response to each pathogen it encounters. It is composed of two main cell types, B and T lymphocytes. These cells help to identify and destroy specific pathogens, allowing the body to produce a more effective response to new threats. B cells make antibodies which are proteins that recognize and bind to specific pathogens. This binding helps to neutralize the pathogen and makes it easier for other parts of the immune system to destroy it. T cells directly attack infected cells. T cell variants are also involved in helping to coordinate the immune response and stimulate other immune cells to attack the pathogen. Such variants are known as helper T cells. As I mentioned earlier, it's technically true that our body has a defense against every conceivable pathogen. This is because the adaptive immune system has the ability to produce a unique response to each new threat it encounters. When a new pathogen enters the body, dendritic cells gather information from its surface and transfer it, in the form of an antigen, to the lymphocytes. This enables lymphocytes to generate a unique antibody which can specifically target the new pathogen. Then, as we've already seen, antibodies can bind to these antigens to weaken the pathogen. What's more, the adaptive immune cells will remember that pathogen for future encounters, allowing for a faster and more effective response the next time you are infected. This is why you gain immunity after previous contact with a pathogen. For example, many people who survived COVID-19 don't require a vaccine as they have gained natural immunity from the immunological memory of their adaptive immune cells. The innate and adaptive immune systems work together to provide a comprehensive defense against pathogens. The innate immune system provides a fast and effective response, while the adaptive immune system provides a slower but more specific response. By working together, these two systems help to keep our bodies healthy and protected from disease. 
So the next time you cut your hand, or catch a cold, know that inside your body, your immune cells are waging a war just to protect you.